2023 and if you're a professional filmmaker or looking in to go into filmmaking there's one question that you must answer which editing software am i gonna use on this episode i'm gonna be looking at the top three editing software namely davinci resolve premiere pro and final cut there's another software known as filmora which is quite popular but i'm not gonna be speaking about it on this one i'm gonna be focusing on the top three editing software and i'm not gonna do the whole thing of look until the end of the video so i can tell you according to my opinion which software is the best no from the get-go i'm gonna tell you davinci resolve is the future davinci resolve is on another level okay let me prove to you why i think davinci resolve is on another level so first thing first i'm gonna look at the category of pricing so when we talk about pricing let's first look into final cut pro Final Cut Pro already there's one disadvantage with it, which is that um, it needs you to be on the Apple ecosystem. So if you are a Windows fan, you can't have Final Cut because it's only exclusive to Apple. And the price for Final Cut is um, 6,000. So Final Cut um, in a year to purchase it, it's 6,000 lifetime use, 6,000. And then Premiere Pro one big negative about premiere pro is that you cannot buy the software you can only subscribe to the software so each and every month you'll be paying 460 per month and then in a year's time you would have paid around 5500 so if you're a beginner i don't think premiere pro is the best option to go to because if you don't have consistent um finances coming into the business then you might at some months because that's how business is at some months you might be unable to cover the subscription fee so i don't think it's the best option i personally don't like it because at the end of the year and paying that 5500 i don't even own the software you know i'm just paying 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 <laughs> it's just a lifetime thing since we met you people 500 years ago look at us we've given everything you are still taking davinci resolve so davinci resolve has two versions it's got the free version and also the paid version but believe you me the free version is also very 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 good i remember when i started and moved i remember when i started using davinci resolve i started on the free version and i think i used the free version for like two years and when i became more advanced that that's when i switched but the free version is good enough so the free version is free and then the paid version is 5500 so pricing wise davinci resolve is the cheapest and when you are going for the studio version so in that category davinci resolve clearly wins it second category which one is easy to use so easy to use what do i mean easy to use i mean from the bag you just downloaded the software you know which one would you get the ease of quite easy um <laughs> the last one in this category is also final uh, premiere pro i don't have anything against premiere pro i'm just this is just my clear unbiased opinion among all the softwares i first learned final cut and then davinci and then premiere pro and premiere pro looked complicated mind you i had around four years editing and premiere pro looked complicated and i had experience you know i remember at some points i had to go on youtube to google how to use premiere pro because the layout for me i feel it's very 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 confusing it doesn't also look fancy you know sometimes as a creative you want to just open it up and you know feel that push you know because of how the you the user interface is is laid out premiere pro for me also how it looks it's a no for me and final cut and davinci resolve i'd put them more on the same when you're just opening them up from the get-go um but what makes davinci resolve the winner in this category is that davinci resolve clearly lays out everything like you can clearly see this is the edit section this is the color x this is where i color grade and this is also the audio editing phase and i think i love how davinci resolve pays so much detailed attention to all the different sections like it's like you are on a new program but you are not really on a new program and another thing i had forgotten about premiere pro is that premiere pro if you want to edit you can edit 
but if you want after effects then you need to purchase another software which is after effects so you can get the vfx part of it my third category is editing workstation which i'm just looking at um, the laptop which you need and uh, on this category <laughs> from the bag uh, final cut pro doesn't win because if you want to work on final cut pro you need apple so if you are a windows fan you won't qualify for this one so from the get-go i don't like final cut pro because of that and from my personal experience not looking at the numbers premiere pro wins this one because one thing about premiere pro is i once had this windows laptop that could run premiere pro but could not run davinci like davinci would be quite slow and that is more because davinci resolve needs a high gpu premiere pro wins this one but the only disadvantage with premiere pro is the monthly subscription but if you have a lower spec laptop you have high chances of running premiere pro than running davinci resolve and um, just looking at the numbers which i'm gonna show the numbers on you on the screen <laughs> There's some minor stuff to note before you choose which software you're gonna use um, I think one issue that I've realized and a lot of people complain about with Premiere Pro is that it crashes a lot and it's not quite reliable on the other hand I found DaVinci Resolve to be the most reliable software to use I've never had the system crashing on me i mean it has crashed a few times but nothing major and if you've got this function called live save on that is a game changer in south africa where we have electricity going now and then beautiful that's when you need the live save because if you're editing something happens to your computer you lose power it saves it the fourth section which i have here is ecosystem and what do i mean by ecosystem ecosystem i mean um, which software works well with other products like cameras and all that and in this section davinci resolve is the clear winner because davinci resolve is made by black magic and the company black magic makes cameras editing keyboards color grading uh, panels so you know when you combine the black magic camera which is what i'm shooting on and you combine the software you combine the editing keyboard it takes it on another level with final cut pro i think the only plus there is um final cut pro is made by apple so the apple laptops work very much well with the with the software because you know it's the same thing same company that bought them premiere pro where you do benefit you don't benefit much as a filmmaker but you'll benefit much if you're a photographer or do other stuff and you need certain other apps which are in the adobe ecosystem so then it means that you'll get everything in a package and you'll get it at a much lesser price so that's how you'll benefit so on each and every software with regards to ecosystem there's different ways you would benefit um, if you're a film if you're a filmmaker you'd benefit more from davinci resolve and a lot in final cut pro but if you are a jack of all trades you'll benefit more with adobe another thing to note about ease of use is what training materials are out there available to us black magic clearly wins this one because if you go on youtube you'll find training videos by black magic so imagine the person who created the software is teaching you how to use the software themselves so that is a big plus for me i've watched those videos a lot and two years back not a lot of people were not on davinci resolve but right now a lot of influential youtubers are moving into davinci resolve like your sam colders your matty and uh, i think potato jet is also moving to us it's, it's also on davinci resolve so the more youtubers and the more people are going to davinci resolve then it means we've got more content to learn about the software itself and the second one would be premiere pro premiere pro for the longest time has been the dominating um editing software so it's obvious that it will have a lot of training material that's out there and final cut pro i've never quite searched a lot of training videos on final cut pro so i can't quite comment on that so the last category which i just put it here but i'm not gonna talk about it a lot is mobile editing which application what's the best application to edit on your phone 
as a professional filmmaker, I don't think you should be editing on your phone. If you're a normal consumer and must edit on your phone, I think for this category, Premiere Pro and Final Cut will win because on Final Cut, you've got iMovie, which again, you need an iPhone to be able to access iMovie. And for Premiere Pro, they also have another version to edit on your phone. I've never used both of them because I never edit videos on my phone. But um, I think if you must edit, those would be the definitely the best options to consider. So overall, for me, I think DaVinci Resolve is the best software and I love how they are always giving out updates, updates and updates and updates. You address an issue, they update, you know, so that just takes it a, a step further. You know, whenever you think that um, this version is, the, is quite great, the following year, not something great is coming. So I think that for that, for me, DaVinci Resolve right now takes the cup and yeah. Thank you very much for joining me and see you on the next episode.